spot em. Trap man, shot em. Hundreds, you know a nigga, Liddy. Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Taddy Says TV. You feel me? If you don't got your dual fluid, then you know you ain't doing it. So, you know, we getting into it. It's uh, Kabani Savage, part one. No witness, no crime. Uh, STB Philly, you feel me? So, we talking about Kabani Savage. We getting into part one. You feel me? Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Get me to 100 subscribers, you heard? Because, you know, we do that. We're going, I'm going to have a little mini uh vlog or whatever. Me, and we're gonna get into it. you so make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you check out my other videos that I uh did. You know, I did, recently did um interviews, so make sure you check them out. And we're about to get into it. From late 1997 to April 2010, Kabani Savage and the street organization, the KSO, wreaked havoc on the streets of Philadelphia. Violence, the likes of which the city hasn't seen, stemming from one person in a very long time. In June 2011, a superseding indictment was filed. In that time span, a slew of awful and ridiculous events would transpire culminating in the June 2013 death sentence of Savage, a life sentence for his sister and a former associate, and 40 years for a fourth man. On October 9th, 2004, six people, including four children, died as a result of an arson at a home located on North 6th Street in Philadelphia. The government contends that Kabani Savage and his younger sister, Kadada, directed Lamont Lewis and his cousin Robert Merrick to set fire to the home of Eugene Twin Coleman, a former associate of Kabani Savage. Kabani believed that Twin was cooperating with the government to plan to testify against him in his 2005 federal drug conspiracy trial. The firebombing took the lives of Coleman's mother, infant son, and four other relatives. The prosecutors say that the firebombing was ordered by Kabani Savage in order to intimidate Coleman. On January 5th, 2005, Savage was placed in a special housing unit, or the SHU, at the Federal Detention Center located on 7th and Arch Street. On the basis of an order entered by Judge Michael Belson, federal officials had previously placed wiretaps within the prison cell of Kabani Savage and the surrounding access spaces, including an event between his cell and another man who we'll call BD. His identity isn't relevant to this story. Through these wiretaps, the government obtained recordings of conversations between Savage, BD, and Robert Merritt, which occurred between October 2004 and January 2005. Damn. Kabani Savage is accused of leading a regional drug trafficking organization in North Philadelphia, referred to at trial by prosecutors as the Kabani Savage Organization, or KSO. The quote, KSO distributed large quantities of cocaine, weed, and wet, and not surprisingly, fiercely protected this network and territory through the use of guns and violence. Threats to the organization, whether perceived or real, were quickly tamped down or extinguished. Early on in the operation, Savage took care of such threats himself, but as his power grew, his enforcers did his bidding without question. Even while locked up, Savage continued to call the shots to the organization from his prison cell. He led by retaliating against those who dared to cooperate with the government agents and prosecutors. 
What makes this story stand out is that Savage not only arranged for the murder of the prosecution's main witness in, on, in an ongoing case, in a later case he orchestrated the firebombing of the family home of another cooperating witness in a fashion that ensured no one would survive. Eventually, Savage was charged with a dozen counts of murder and eight of racketeering, among other serious offenses. The government sought the death penalty. Yo, man, so look, man, that shit crazy, Yerk. The Bonnie Savage, part one. I'm gonna do part two pretty soon. I mean, not even pretty soon. I'm gonna do that shit real soon. I'm getting uh content out there, you feel me? Um, Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you don't got your dual fluid, nigga, you ain't doing it. And, you know, I'm out. Spot him, trap man, shot him, hundreds. You know a nigga, Liddy.